The bottle is empty In my pink don't know where to begin I've got a picture A letter In the song My inspiration for writing the Fly Again album was uh, due to uh, my illness. I was diagnosed in 2001 with um, leukemia, a very aggressive form of leukemia, and um, I wasn't expected to survive, and it was a long two years in recovery, and fly again was a catchphrase that I used to say to all the nurses and the doctors, and they'd say, oh, what do you miss about not performing the most? And I used to say, I just, uh, I can't wait till I can get on an airplane and fly again, because when I'm on an airplane, I know I'm on my way to a show. <laughs> You hold the title as the first artist to release nine consecutive number yeah. one singles on Billboard's Hot Dance Club chart, right? Mm -hmm, yes. Wow, and that's a record that you even beat out Madonna mm -hmm. and Janet Jackson. That must feel really great. Yes, and I'm hoping to go for 10 with I'll Be Your Light. Oh, yeah, it's definitely. number nine this week, <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> I'll Be Your Light has been a major inspiration for many people who have heard the songs. We've had many emails and um, just people love it. It's been in the clubs now. It's been at the top of the video charts on several stations, Logo, QTV, etc. My daughter Elizabeth plays a six-year-old that has leukemia and I'm the mom that inspires her and is her light in, uh, in recovery. And just as she had been mine, her and my son, in my recovery from leukemia. Patty and I had the best time. We recorded Land of the Living. She has it on her new album called Classic Moments, and I have to say that was a classic moment doing a duet with one of my idols, Patty LaBelle. That was the best. I got involved with Queer as Folk uh, because they had a song called Some Love and that they wanted to be the single for the show. And they also wanted to do a music video with an artist, and I was chosen to be that artist, and I was very honored to uh, perform and be an actress in the music video along with all of the cast of Queer as Folk, and that video took off like a rocket and um, ended up doing great promotion for the show and ended up being the number one single for me, not only in the dance charts, but even in the pop charts around the world. And the beat's like this, but when you go to the verse, it's... You're so ungrateful now, why do you hurt me so? Well, I tried to please you, well, I thought that I never would let you go. But all you giving me is all misery and pain. It's good, you can get messages to people and they'll dance around to it and they'll go, Oh, gosh, that story is about my life. Wow. Christine W. is strong. strong, 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 strong. And I think the whole album is kind of a little journey through the music and uh, the different periods of, of life that we all experience, that we, we grow and we become more than we thought that we could be. I think my fans, um, especially the dance community, a lot of these people have hung in there with me and have believed that, you know, I would get, I'd hang in there long enough to get my shot. And, um, I, my fans in the clubs, of course, you know, for the last you know six years or so, seven years, they've really been so supportive and you know, regardless if I have a pop hit or not, you know, they're there for me, and I just think that that kind of commitment and that kind of support, you know, makes me stronger to be able to hang in and keep fighting. Spiritually, if you have a strong spirit, you're going to be able to overcome adversity as well physically stronger. I, I just believe that everybody right now is very conscious of, of taking care of their body and um, trying to be stronger me mentally and physically because the world is moving at such a rapid pace. <laughs> Sleeps. The bass comes beneath your feet. Hurry up and grab a groove. It pulls you 
W is one hot tamale who can play the timbales. The leggy performer has a new album out with a dance beat that just won't quit. Well, meet Christine W. This is a name you're going to be hearing so much more. Christine W. Christine W. Christine White. She is six feet tall wearing flats and she's got a big voice in that. Christine W. Christine W. Who's our musical guest. W. And we're going to go from one diva to another. Christine W. Her name is Christine W. And for the past four years, her music has been heating up dance clubs everywhere. Christine W's style of music covers everything from pop to R&B to one of her biggest influences, jazz. Doug Bruckner has the rundown on what's sure to be a record fall. From boy bands to old favorites and upcoming stars, this fall's music has them all. From a rock band to a dance diva, Christine W. is being called the next Madonna. My love is stronger than your pain. I always uh, take pride that my, my songs say something. You know, I want them to mean something to somebody. I want them to move somebody. The title track from Christine's new album, Stronger, moved all the way to the top of the dance charts. Billboard magazine's Michael Paoletta loves what he hears. Christine W. has a very powerful, very soulful, almost... Donna Summer-esque voice. It's very effortless. But even if superstardom doesn't strike, music will always be Christine W's driving force. I love the energy of the clubs, but I also like writing great songs, great ballads. I love the spectrum of music, beginning to end. Stronger is number one on Billboard's Hot Dance Club music charts, but success didn't happen overnight for Christine W. Her newest album, just released on RCA, was three years in the making. I actually was starting to question if it was going to happen about a year ago, and it's just, it's a great day. Christine W. Day, we said. <laughs> Christine W, the W stands for whites, grew up in the booming town of Pasco, Washington. Where the hell is that? Where the hell? Hee-haw, salute, baby, if I can make it to, if I can get on this show, you know what I'm saying? You Where is it? Anything. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, a, <clears throat> it's a farm community in uh, eastern Washington, and it's, uh, you know, maybe 30,000 people. By the age of 16, Christine was a national javelin champion. I guess there's not much else to do in Pasco. Anyway, she was almost an Olympian. Probably get my butt kicked by the big old Russian gals, so, you know, unless I, unless I put away some kind of dolls. I don't know, those chicks were big. I saw videos on them and I said, you know what, I think I'll do the Miss America pageant for scholarship money. Yeah, that's the ticket. <laughs> but I'm glad to be alive. Christine headed to Las Vegas with her tiara and eventually landed her own review with the Las Vegas Hilton, even toppling Elvis's record for the most performances. All that hard work paid off, just like her showbiz mom predicted. The six-foot singer, songwriter, and saxophone player to toot her own horn, but she's not about to let it go to her head. I always figured that the only way you were going to get to be a great entertainer was to entertain all the time. The only way you were going to get to be a great songwriter was to write a million songs. Oh! 